Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Rainbow High Junior High unboxing. If you guys can see that, yep, Junior High. This is Skylar Bradshaw. She is our second Junior High doll. If you want to see more of her, look at the Jade review that's posted also. And here she is looking very cute with a little see-through backpack like she goes to public school. And she's got some high top sneakers on there. These shoes are not gonna fit Rainbow High dolls like the big ones. Again, she's got her fashion design focus. And we do have three different dolls over here because we've got Jade and we've got Skylar and we've got uh, Violet and they all look very cute in their outfits and then we've got Go back in time and meet your favorite students before they became friends and followed their creative dreams to Rainbow High and We have that in like eight languages compared to the last box Like here was the back of Jade's box. We got different boxes Like See very different this one had sunny and it only had it in English that one has it in multiple languages Kind of cool. Weird, but cool. I find things like that weird and fun. Uh, but let's get her out. Oops, sorry about that. And again, these are at Target right now for uh, $24. are a little overpriced in my opinion but she's very cute look at that and it's new face molds new sizes so we're going to try our best to free her from her plastic prism uh, she does have some uh, gel in her hair Unfortunately, I don't love that. But sometimes you just kind of get what you get. And you don't throw a fit when it comes to uh, their hairstyling choices. But I'm going to pop her out. So here she is, out of her plastic prism, looking real cute. She looks like Series 1 Skylar, uh, so she's got that same kind of vibe. She's got the, uh, the kind of uh, reflective stuff on the denim. She's got very cute little like high top shoes. Again, she does have socks, so does Jade. does have neck articulation for anyone wondering she's got this cool little like price tag hair accessory and uh, about the normal length of rainbow high hair compared to Jade's shorter do and so let's take a look at her backpack real fast I gotta get it out um, So, and then she also comes with a comb that's on the side of the box, like that, just a basic rainbow high comb. Nothing super special about those, but here is our backpack. Again, we've got a little rainbow high luggage tag. We've got some fabric straps to go on there, some Velcro. It does actually have room to put things in actually has a little plastic piece that's in there keeping the shape that I'm going to take out so you can actually use it. And then this is actually a functional pocket as well here on the front so we could put a lot of things in there. I'm thinking the things that we got from our uh, Zuru Supplies bags. Maybe we're just going to stick them in their backpacks. So here they are compared to Jade's backpack. 
very cute, very different. They're not the same pattern at all. This is like a plastic material. This is pleather. Um, this one's really cute. Like it's very backpack. Like I don't, I don't look at this and think it's gonna be anything else. Uh, but it's got that kind of uh, 2000 aesthetics where everything was uh, see-through plastic. Like it makes me wanna blow up couch. Uh, so here, let me show you guys her shoes. Just basic little white socks on here. Uh, these do have, uh, or this one has a rainbow on it. Did I miss the other one? Okay, so it does have a rainbow on the side done in kind of like Skylar's uh, pattern. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be really. And then the shoes are different. There's a left and a right one because one of them has the, uh, the tag. And one of them has Rainbow High Los Angeles like this. So they're very cute. Very cute shoes. Very reminiscent of Skylar's uh, first series look. And then we've got a little a jean skirt. It's very cute. I don't know how these are going to fit on Barbie because these dolls are smaller. Like significantly smaller. Okay, this makes me a little frustrated because there's not a shirt under here or extra pants. So we literally have her outfit is four pieces. She has four pieces that she comes with. She's got socks, she's got shoes, she's got a skirt, she's got a jacket. And I hesitate to even call this an accessory because it's not really an accessory. It's a hair, like, luggage tag. I don't know. That, I'm, I'm not happy with that. Jade had, like, multiple pieces, really, to her outfit and Skylar has just what you see. So overall, we got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces outside of that at the $25 price point, pretty much. Um, she does have kind of like more aesthetic pieces that you could use a lot more, uh, like especially the denim. The denim is gonna be able to be used for a lot of things, but these clothes won't fit Rainbow High. Like, maybe the shirts will, but let me show you the difference in the size. So I'm going to hold these up at the same level. Look how much longer her legs are. Look how much wider her legs are. Look how much wider her hips are compared to that. So I'm lining them up. She's got easily a quarter of an inch difference here in the hips. So the heads are smaller. These are all new molds because the heads are smaller. Torsos are smaller. So these are junior high dolls. It makes me a little mad. They gave us a junior high doll and they only gave us one outfit that's going to fit for her. Um, it's a little frustrating just because I understand they're trying to keep it at the same price point to keep it affordable. But at this point, I'm expecting a little bit better from MGA just because you can't use the fashions from the other Rainbow High dolls on these dolls because they have smaller bodies. They're not going to fit. Everything you put on them from the fashion closet is going to be oversized. You're going to be trying to find doll clothes that fit these doll bodies. So... It is kind of frustrating, especially since these don't even come with stands at the $25 price point. They are really cool. I am really kind of intrigued by this, but I don't think these are going to sell well unless people want to buy a cheaper doll than the other ones. But you're not getting anything else on these. Like, there's not going to be fashion packs that get released for sizing with this, most likely. Uh, the shoes are drastically different. Let me show you the difference in just the feet. Just the feet. Look at that. None of the Rainbow High shoes are going to fit. 
so you can mix and match amongst the six that we're going to get. But other than that, you shit out of luck. That's what you get. So these are very cute. I am frustrated with MGA just a little bit, just, just a bit. But just because I know that this is more of like a gimmick line compared to the full ones. But the fact that they did put more effort into these than a gimmick line, like they had just given us another round of like the little like the Rainbow High surprise pets or whatever, that had been different. I would have been like, whatever, that's fine. Uh, but these are full dolls and these are different sized bodies and different sized heads and different sized clothes, which is good. But now we also only have six outfits compared to when the initial line launched we had 12 outfits to mix and match so and these are all pretty much done in their signature colors and looks which makes them hard to mix and match that's why i'm irritated it's not i'm irritated because oh i want more as a collector i think the price point should be lower uh it's i think that if you're going to give us a really good quality doll, like they did, these are good quality dolls. They have the same articulation, they didn't cheap out on the bodies, um, they didn't make the, they didn't take articulation away from us, like with the arm, like with the hands or anything. Um, I'm actually gonna take the hands off. These come off, they're designed to come off. Um, to make getting these dolls dressed a lot easier. Um, but it's just one of those things. It's like, if you had given us some other way to get clothes for these size dolls, it would be different. I wouldn't be mad. I'd be like, okay, that's fine. It's the name of the game. I got to get some fashion packs. But as it is right now, we're just going to get these six dolls with one outfit each. And that's going to be the end of it. We're not going to get a second series. We're not going to get a... Um, we're not going to get a fashion closet or anything or accessory packs or anything like that. But I don't know. It, it just kind of bugs me. Like, she's really pretty. And I am all for Rainbow High getting smaller heads um, to the point where I would actually consider putting these heads on bigger bodies and just calling it a day. Because I think I can make it work. Problem is, I don't think the neck hole is big enough because these necks are a little bit small, a little bit more narrow. Not a ton but enough that you'd have to modify the head to go onto the bigger bodies if you wanted to have more in proportion heads. But that's what she is. I mean, there she is next to Jade. And they look good. Like, they didn't cheap out on these dolls. But I think for the price point, these should have hit at 20, not 25 because there's kind of a lack of ability to really do much with them after the fact. Because you can't find other clothes, you can't mix and match with all the rest of the clothes that they've produced. But they are good. They are good quality, they have the same level of articulation as all the other dolls. Um, they're a little bit closer to Barbie scale like, these shoes, instead of fitting Ken, might fit a Barbie. Like, let's see. What do I have nearby? Okay, I've got a curvy Barbie nearby. Let's see if they fit a curvy Barbie. So, we've got a curvy Barbie right here. Let's see. These are still a little bit bigger. But, we're gonna just see how well they fit on there. So, yeah. So they fit on a curvy Barbie. So, I mean, I guess there's that. 
and they let that curvy Barbie stand up on their own. So, I mean, I guess there's that. These shoes will now fit Barbie. Uh, but, unfortunately, all the rest of the Rainbow High shoes are not going to fit her. Because her feet are too small. So they will technically go on. They will not stay on. On their own. But. So, I mean, it's interesting to see, but at the same time, I worry that Rain I worry that MGA is going to kind of deviate from their formula, which I've loved. Their formula has pretty much been, they make the clothes to go with the dolls, they give us two outfits, and that was the formula for, you know, pretty much three or four releases. They changed it up with the Pacific Coast dolls that only got one outfit and the cheer dolls that only got one outfit. The cheer dolls were seen as a budget line. These are not really a budget line. These are like their own thing. So I don't know where MGA is kind of going with that because there's no reason to make these a budget line and not give us the stand and not give us a second outfit. These are a completely different size doll. Like, I would have been willing to pay the $32 price point if they had everything. If they had two outfits, if they had the bag, if they had all their accessories, I'd have paid the $32 price point for these. But instead, they're at a $25 price point. We get one outfit that's like basically two pieces each and a bag and a pair of shoes and a hair accessory and they call that good but they are really well made they're the same quality that's what i'm gonna say the stitching is still great the bags are impressive the shoes are new molds my only qualm is no stands no second outfit because and that's only because these dolls are not gonna fit on the other Rainbow High stands, and they're not gonna fit on the other in the other Rainbow High clothes. Like here is a Rainbow High stand. That's where that stand wants to go on. It, it's not gonna fit. We could maybe put it under her arms. No, nope. even then, like it'll hold her, but she's hovering. And she has to, you know, she's got a, you know, T-pose or whatever it is. Like her life depends on it. So, I mean, it just, it feels more like an insult to have not included these things. Specifically because they do not fit other dolls. With the cheer dolls, it was fine we didn't get a stand. It was fine we didn't get other outfits because we had those dolls. We had their stands. We had their other outfits already. These are smaller dolls in smaller clothes, in smaller shoes, with smaller heads, without stands or other things to put them in. So, I mean, that's just my two cents. I'm not sure where MGA is going to go with the others. Uh, we'll see as these come into stores more. I am still going to get the rest of them, probably. Um, but I'm not, I'm not thrilled about these as much as I thought it was going to be. I was hoping the stands were going to be in the box. I was okay with it only being one outfit, theoretically. Because I was hoping there were going to be a bunch of pieces to the outfits or just some accessories that we couldn't see. Unfortunately, I was wrong. So, am I as excited about the others? No. Am I going to get them? Yeah. But, that's what we've learned. The new shoes do fit Barbie, at least. So that's nice. Um, so, I mean, we'll see. You know, these are closer to Stacy size. Or uh, skipper size, because this is this is Stacy size, so a little bit shorter than Stacy. Uh, 
a little bit taller than Stacy, not shorter. Uh, but I mean, they're very cool. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you guys want to see more of them, I could do an in-depth review on Instagram, do it from different angles and things like that, comparison shots with the big dolls. Um, but other than that, leave a comment if you have a question, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and follow along for more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.